hey you guys what's up it's your girl Cree. welcome back to another video on today's video i have a haul for you guys you guys know i'm already on a no buy but before i did yeah. I, I did pick up some things and those things we're going to talk about today so if you guys are interested in seeing what i picked up what i've been loving what hit what didn't you're going to want to see this video before we get into it definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss uploads from your girl and hit the like button if you find that during this video you enjoy the content that's all i ask with no further ado let's get into it guys you know how we do grab and go i'm gonna start off with a body mist now this is a repurchase for me this is not my first time buying this body mist but this is the being frenchy cashmere vanilla now you guys if you don't know i have purchased this before it says it's a hair body and linen mist so you can spray this not only on you on your hair or you can spray it on like your sheets i know some people do that or as a room spray personally i really just use it as a on me type of spray speaking of which okay let's get back to it <laughs> this spray to me is just what it says uh it's just a cashmere vanilla this fragrance reminds me of the old school warm vanilla sugar if i got any ogs to bath and body works that used to shop there back in the day and i mean when we were younger this reminds me of that literally how it smelled back then that's how this smells it's just a very nice warm comforting vanilla scent Nothing special to it. It's sweet. It's not crazy sugary, but it does give that maybe brown sugar type of vibe. I like this vanilla. It's an easy grab. It's nothing special about it. It's just something that I have grown to like. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and repurchase it because we all know that the warm vanilla sugar that they have today is not of the same quality as the one they had back then. And to me, this one isn't either. It doesn't last very, very long. But if you just want to put on something just to say that you have something on, maybe you're not really worried about impressing people today or being smelled i think people will smell this on you but you're definitely going to be giving skin scent so <laughs> yeah y'all i like this this is the frenchy cashmere vanilla i added that to my collection granted some of these you will notice that you have already seen in other videos i may just be bringing it back out to you guys but like as an official video but some of these i have used in some of my layering combos so just keep that in mind but i hadn't really brought it to the channel yet so that's what i'm doing in this video so next up i'm gonna stick with the body mist right now i have this bath and body works bridgerton diamond of the season now i told you guys in my last haul i believe that i was going to be getting this fragrance y'all this i already knew when i got the what is it affordable luxury collection i was going to get this too but i was like nah i'll just wait on it because i smelt it then in the store i initially wasn't planning on getting anything from this collection and especially not another peach scent i was like oh god not another peach y'all i love this this smells so good to me and it's different from any other peach scents that i have in my collection as far as body mist wise i also have pretty as a peach which they're completely different and I wasn't gung-ho about peach Bellini either. This I really, really like. So it has the notes of sparkling peach, spring daffodil, and radiant jasmine. To me, this was just like a florally peach scent, but it's bubbly. Like almost like champagne. It's really giving upscale vibes. And when I smelled this, I said, oh, you know, I think this will go good with Victoria's Secret bombshell glamour bombshell glamour that i picked up last year if you have that fragrance some people have a hard time getting through it it's like you liked it and maybe you don't anymore or you just don't know how to pair it to make it something that's wearable or that you enjoy wearing or pulling for i recently came out with a combo yeah i put it in my shorts but just in case you didn't catch it i say pair this with bombshell glamour for a daytime scent and then if you want to turn it into a nighttime scent or more of an evening like maybe you're going out to dinner or something throw in flower bombs ruby orchid if you have it which i have it right here it's on this list as well y'all put those two together and it makes a really nice combo as you know this has like that flower bomb dna it's a little more subdued because i don't think this one has patchouli in it even though it still gives that original flower bomb og dna but this one has that fuzzy peach in there and it's really nice and juicy and i think those make a really good combo i have one more body mist and then we'll get to this one. so the next body mist that i decided to pick up is this y'all i am eating my words with this this is sol de janeiro's charosa 68 if you've been following me on my channel 
I have a video up of my Sol de Janeiro collection where I spoke about this and I intentionally never picked this up. I have smelled it. I've had the cream. I never picked it up because I did not like the Baccarat 540 DNA at that time. And I've just slowly but surely come around to it a little. I still don't love it, but there has been mist that I picked up or there's a perfume, the New Rouge. I speak about it all the time. The New Rouge from Finery. I picked that up and that changed the game for me. That scent I love and it's reminiscent of it. Of course, you guys already know this is giving that DNA and it's pretty. It's gorgeous and it, it reminds me of the New Rouge. I really like this one though. This is very sugary, sweet. I'm getting like a fruity vibe to it, but it's just so pretty and so dainty and so feminine and soft. And if I had to pick a dupe, I would pick these two. Between the ones that are out there, you know, cloud and of the sorts, I picked this one. This one I like the most up there with New Rouge. So yeah, those two are winners for me. I'm happy to have added this to my collection. And yeah, I'll be pulling for that this spring and summer. Perfumes that we're gonna get into. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one here, which is Ariana Grande's Cloud Pink, to be exact. Y'all, I picked this up again. So I had this prior, and there's a video up on my channel of that. I got this before. I smelled it in the store back then when it came out, and I remember liking it. At that time, it was the end of the summer, so of course, we were getting ready to get into fall season, and I just... First of all, I like this scent, but there were some gripes that I had with it. And I just didn't feel like it was necessary for me at that time. And I said that if I felt like I wanted to root back around, that I would. You guys know I don't have cloud and I don't have any intention on getting cloud. I have purchased cloud before and decided not to keep it because, you know, I didn't like that 540 DNA. What I will say is even though cloud does give the vibes of Baccarat 540, it is not the same. There is, uh, I believe, lavender in cloud as well as like coconut. It definitely goes its own way, like it has its own interpretation of it. And I think the lavender and coconut combo just didn't work for me and my skin or just, just not a scent that I enjoy on me. So when it came to this one, I really loved it. Yeah, I just took it out of that packaging because I really don't keep it in that. And it's bulky and unnecessary. But I'm just going to spray it like right here on my hand. Yeah, so this one just gave a fruitier vibe. And for me, it was sweeter, like candy sweeter. Like I think it has a pineapple note in here. Um, kind of gives you the similar vibe to this Charosa 68. For real, for real. They could definitely be paired together. I'm not going to lie though, y'all. Now that I have picked it up again... I'm starting to remember what caused me to not keep it before. Now, I'm going to keep it this time unless I decide to sell it, but I won't be returning it to the store. But there is something about this fragrance that doesn't sit well with me. Not really sure what that is. I will say this fragrance does not last. Doesn't last at all. The original cloud lasts longer than this. This does not last. I mean, when I say it doesn't last, I mean like you spray it on and you just don't smell it like after an hour. Y'all know I, a fragrance doesn't have to last all day for me. You can give me like four hours and I'll be cool with reapplying. But when you spray this, I'm telling you, it dries down and it's like you become a nosmic to it. At least I do. And so really not pleased with it with that regard but beyond that it's a nice scent um we'll see what happens with it but for now i have it and of course i'll just be pairing it with other things i've paired it with the pineapple and shea from victoria's secret i really like that combo coconut and pineapple from bath and body works there's so many ways that you could layer this and make it really nice but i feel like those body mists are probably stronger than this Okay, so um, next up, we're going to go ahead and hit on this Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. So I kind of already gave you guys details on this one. But yeah, this has that Flower Bomb DNA, same thing, but it has like a peach note in there. It also has, I think, Vine as well listed in here. So there's a kind of green facet to it. It is a sweet bomb but to me it's not too sweet there are some fragrances that i consider to be too sweet like girl of now shine and girl of now in general those are too sweet for me y'all i have come to that conclusion i have tried and we'll get into that into another video but i'm just saying when it comes to what's too sweet for me those are too sweet for me 
So just so we're clear, um, this fragrance is sweet, but it's doable. And I think that green greenness that they have in there has really cut up on some of that sweetness and broke it up and made it more palatable for you. So I really like this. If you don't like the original Flower Bomb, then maybe you won't like this. But if you kind of like it, but it was just a little too patchouli heavy or too strong for you, this might be a little more palatable. And maybe you guys maybe want to give this a sniff because I find this to be very beautiful and very very much tolerable it's not too sweet it's not too much um it's just enough and i will wear this spring and summer so yeah flower bomb ruby orchid is a win for me next up you guys i have escada's Taj Sunset. Y'all, I picked this up on a whim when I was looking for a mango scent. And you guys know I did come up on a different mango scent from the Middle Eastern fragrances that I'm loving right now. Um, but this was one that was just like a sweet candy-like fragrance to me. That's what I was thinking about when I saw the notes for it. And I was just like, this might be what I'm looking for because I couldn't fight, quite find um, a quintessential mango fragrance that I could wear and layer with my body mist that was giving what I needed it to like nothing sour um, nothing like candy in a sense of like a jelly bean or I didn't want it to be too tangy I just wanted like a sweet mango and that's what I got with this. At first, when I got it, I couldn't smell anything. And I was like, this was a dud. <laughs> I know Escada fragrances can sometimes be like attributed to like a body mist. Which, whatever. Y'all know I like a body mist. But I'm going to spray it right here and we're just going to see what I get. Yeah, so I like this now. I guess it maybe needed some time. I sprayed it out a little, just a little bit. And over days, it started to get better. I could actually smell it. I like this. This is very nice. It's like a sweet fragrance. But you do detect that mango. It just would be a nice layering scent. It's not too deep. I don't know the notes. I just know it's a sweet, fruity type of fragrance. It kind of reminds you of a body mist, like they say. And I think it's nice. So, yeah, I picked that up. Escada Taj Sunset. If you guys can't tell, I was getting some things for the summertime and spring that I wanted to add. And then you'll see that I actually went and got some things for the fall and winter as well. Because, you know, I like to shop out of season. Mine. Now, you guys, next up is something I actually wanted for a long time. And I just never got around to getting it. And this here is... Pepe Jeans London for her. This is an eau de parfum. First of all, the bottle, right? It's it's a margarita. I mean, what's not to like about it, right? It's giving martini glass, I think. This is martini, right? Y'all don't drink no more. Well, I've been drinking a long time, so might as well say I don't drink anymore. But yeah, y'all, it's giving the vibes, right? It's definitely giving vacation. Speaking of which, I got some combos coming out. This, they may be out by the time I put this video out, but some combos coming out some more. I know y'all seem to like my combos, and y'all, y'all gonna love these combos. But wouldn't this be perfect for vacation? All right, let's get into it. So this fragrance, as soon as I got it, what I noticed, this is the top, you guys. You could literally just, you know, leave it in your collection like that. It's nothing to it. But so you guys, when I spray this fragrance and we are getting, in my mind, a pina colada, I also get a very striking resemblance to Sol de Janeiro 62. Now, to me, this is a little fresher than Charosa 62, but... It's still giving the same vibes, y'all. It's still giving. Oh, so good. So, so good. The only gripe that I have with this, it doesn't last. It does not last. This is a cheapie, y'all. So, I got this, I think, from FragranceNet.com. And I think it may have been like 20-something bucks. So, you know, you're not getting very much and you didn't spend very much. So, you really can't be mad. I think this would be very good to layer. Again, you could layer it with that coconut pineapple I told y'all about. Can you already see where I'm going with this come summertime? Okay, so this would be a great layering scent, but I just think it's a very nice play on like Sol de Janeiro type of scent. And if you guys are looking for something that gives like a pina colada type of vibe and you don't want to break the bank, then this is really good. Like for instance, um, I know they have a scent that just came out called, I think it's that Brooklyn, it's blue. I'm going to show you, show you, I'll put the picture right here that everybody keeps talking about. I'm sure it's expensive. It seems like a hundred dollar ish type of fragrance It's from Sephora. So I know you don't really get anything under that from there. So <laughs> yeah, y'all, if y'all looking for something like with those vibes, I think they had like coconut water and pineapple. If you're looking for the vibes, y'all, you can get the vibes for less than what the girls are telling you. I'm just saying, cause it's always going to be something new. And honestly, a lot of these fragrances are starting to smell the same. They're giving us a lot of the same repackaged things that are already out here so it's like it's nothing new under the sun 
that said, like I said, it doesn't have the best projection, but I'm sure get you a perfume oil. I done told y'all, get you a perfume oil from wherever. It doesn't have to be from my place, like the place that I like. Um, fragrant body oils don't have to be expensive. Y'all go to Wholesale Body Oils. Go to your local beauty supply store. Go to the scent for you. They $2.50. Get you a coconut or pineapple type of scent. Vision Net fragrances. They had them for $5. I haven't shopped there in a while, but they had really good ones as well. Y'all, just get you a nice little fruity scent. They have those Ascada fragrances. And y'all, those are really good in perfume oil form because they're very nice and fruity. And Bath & Body works anytime you find those bath and body works oils at these perfume oil places they are perfect because they're so fruity in the oil form they last way longer so yeah y'all get you something cheap like this and save your coin if you still shopping because you know i'm on a no buy but yeah y'all that is whatever it is i'm gonna put it up here and it's giving pina colada on so next, next up, you guys, another cheapie that I picked up that I am so excited about. I've had my eye on this for like a year or two. And I, well, actually, let me go back. I actually had a sample of this fragrance about a year ago. And not a year ago, because I hadn't, I hadn't got fully into it like that. But I think about July or maybe about August or so, I picked up a sample of this fragrance. And I don't know what happened. I used it up, but I just never picked up the actual fragrance. Y'all, this is Amo Ferragamo. I think that's the name. Amo Ferragamo. Y'all, as well as the who is by Ferragamo, Amo Ferragamo. Y'all, this is the one that the girls on YouTube have, for years have been calling a orange creamsicle. And I concur. Yeah, it's definitely giving that. The only thing about this fragrance, it has like a note in here of, I think, Campari. And it also has rhubarb. That's what scared me away from this fragrance because I was worried about that not coming through well on my skin. I don't like fragrances with rhubarb y'all all of the fragrances that i have tried with rhubarb are a no for me i can name a few delina a no for me mark jacobs perfect intense a no for me dolce and gabbana liam paratrice a no for me a hell no for me y'all when i tell you i had that fragrance before and i had to get rid of it right fast quick and in a hurry the girls raved about that and i could not stand that rhubarb it came through something about that fragrance gave body odor like i was like how do people wear this fragrance there was something nice about it and then that came through and i was like oh no so I know. We'll get into those type of videos later where I tell you about the fragrances that I got that did not work out. But yeah, y'all, not to get off on a tangent, this is gorgeous. The rhubarb does not stand out for me on my skin, so I absolutely love it. It doesn't have the best longevity. Again, these are cheapies. These are all under $50, so, you know. In that sense, I guess you do get what you pay for, but I'm not mad at it. This will give me about three hours or so. And mind you, y'all know I put on perfume oils with almost everything. If it's something that I need to project, I don't always need to be radiating to where the whole world can smell it. Like, I don't be trying to be offensive like that. There are times when I want to stand out and I wear the scents that cause me to stand out. Otherwise, a lot of times y'all be thinking that you can't smell your fragrance. But how many times do you go out, go to a store or something and you can't smell it, but somebody gives you a compliment? Happens all the time, y'all. Happens more than not. A lot of times people can't smell you. You don't have to be beast mode and giving people headaches. Like, people can smell you whether you think so or not. That's just like when you walk around with nothing on. People, you have a smell that comes out for you, whether it's the smell of your clothes or your shampoo on your hair, y'all. The scent is there. Just because you can't smell it doesn't mean it's not there. Now, I get some of y'all want to smell it and you want other people to smell it. Well, I get that. Then maybe you need to carry the fragrance with you or travel with a decant. Otherwise, this is cool for me, y'all. If you are with like three to four hours and then retouching, then I think it's a win. If you like that orange creamsicle type of vibe, if you like it to be a creamy orange citrusy opening, something of the sort, you would like this fragrance. I'm happy with it so much so I bought it back up. On to the next. <laughs> Guys, this is a fragrance that I bought for when I want to be pretty, dainty, feminine. It's giving classy girl vibes. This is Chloe. Chloe, the EDP. This isn't the new one. This is the OG. Y'all, this to me is just a gorgeous, pretty, powdery, floral fragrance. It's giving clean girl vibes. It's giving classy. Like, 
I said this in another video, it kind of gives me like Delina La Rose type of vibes, but without that rhubarb, like without that whole Delina-esque vibe. Like it just gives me pretty girl, as in the Delina. You know how everybody is, equates that with being pretty girl vibes. Well, I associate this with being pretty girl vibes as well. Very pretty, very clean. It's a nice rose scent, but it's not like a old rose, not in my opinion, but it's definitely giving mature. She's not a little girl. It's giving sophistication. You know, it's giving, could be a boss, um, could just be a pretty girl walking down the street. Um, it's definitely giving clean vibes. So yeah, y'all, I'm happy with this. This was something that I knew I wanted to add to my collection at some point. And I actually came to that conclusion because of the perfume oils that I have purchased that I like of Chloe, which the one that I have came from Wholesale Body Oils. If you layer that with this, it'll last you all day. I said what I said. This one is Max Turquatic. So this was a fragrance that has been very hyped on YouTube for years. I don't even really want to say that it's hyped because a lot of people truly do love this fragrance. For me, this was a little bit of a letdown. It's not a bad fragrance, but I don't love it. It kind of gave me similar vibes of like light blue mixed with Aqua Di Gioia, which is the green one that has that mint note. I couldn't put my finger on it at the time which one exactly it was reminding me of, but after wearing this for a few days, that's definitely the one that it's giving it leans more towards that aqua de joya and i'm not really a fan of that one i actually decluttered it recently so yeah y'all it's not bad this would be perfect for somebody like who loves freshies in the summertime and if you love aqua de joya then i absolutely recommend it for you because you'll probably like it i love the packaging it is the most gorgeous they win the award for the oceanic vibes type of look because they really did their big one on that but um yeah y'all it's it's a letdown for me and it does not last long in my humble opinion so hey, i'm gonna keep it i'll probably use it if I decide not to, then I'll post it on my Macari when I get that up and running. It's not up and running right now, but just stay tuned for that. So yeah, it may or may not be staying, but I did pick that up and I wanted to show it to you. Aquatic Fresh Scent, ultimately. Max Aquatic. Next up on the list, you guys, I have Flower Bomb Nectar. So you guys, if you don't see a running theme, I picked up Flower Bomb a while back. Then I went and got this one actually and then i got ruby orchid so i was really trying to test them all let me know if you guys would like a comparison between all three but um i went and got this one because i wanted to know which one i would like better and to be clear i actually had a sample of ruby orchid before i decided on that but obviously i decided on that because i liked it the best but i did pick up this one as well so out of the three i like ruby orchid the best however i actually like this one too and i'm glad i got ruby orchid because i pair it with with this this one gives the flower bomb dna but i think it may be a little sweeter everybody likes to highlight that it has that gunpowder note and it does but i'm not sure what that brings to the fragrance i, I can't even say because i've never smelled like gunpowder honestly so i don't know that maybe other girls know what that's giving but i can't really say what i can say is that if you like flower bomb you, i think you would need to like flower bomb in general to like this or appreciate this fragrance because it definitely gives the same vibes you definitely still smell patchouli in here but to me it's sweeter so that's the difference to me ruby orchid is still sweet it, it reminds me of like this dna with peach added and a little bit of a green note i would have liked to have this one in the bigger size as well as ruby orchid instead of the one that i got but I'm going to use what I got, and when this one is gone, I'll be pairing this with the OG until it's gone. Piggyback off of the Flower Bombs, I have a new fragrance that I picked up that I would like to let y'all know. I actually bought it in a travel size first, so I did test these fragrances. Most of these were not blind buys. As a matter of fact, none of these were blind buys. So... Yay for me. Okay, your girl is doing good already. Even before I went on my no buy, I did not do blind buys. Now, I do have a few others that I did do. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Okay? So, if y'all see hauls from this point on and you wondering, like, I thought you were on a no buy, baby. I am. I did this beforehand and I wanted to still have content to produce for y'all. So, it's just now coming out. But I already pre-purchased these. So, I'm not doing any purchasing at this fragrance. time. So, I bought this fragrance in a travel size and immediately after I got it, I said, oh, I have to get it. Y'all, this has been so hard to find and I saw this fragrance probably sometime last year and it wasn't as hard to find as it is now i think it may have went viral 
TikTok or something, I guess. And that fragrance that I'm speaking of is Wanted Girl by Night. Y'all, can we just have a moment of silence for the packaging? I love this. I heard somebody say that they couldn't stand it and it was tacky. Baby, where? Where with this beautiful dark juice? Oh, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Y'all, it was just giving me the vibes. Maybe it's just me, but I love it, right? Because when you hold it to spray it on you, baby, you are pulling the trigger. Oh, you pulling the trigger. I I love it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I had a moment. But anyway, this is Wanted Girl by Night. Y'all, I think I paid less than 50. I think I paid around $50 for this. Let me tell you about this fragrance. This is a grape. I don't even know the notes for this. I think it had like cirrus, which I don't know what that is. I think it had whipped cream. And I think it has patchouli in it as well. You do, you do get the patchouli. It's not really bad but it's there it's there in the way that it is in flower bomb nectar i say that because i just i just told y'all about that and to me they're along the same lines if you like those fragrances then you'll like this just to put you in the mind of what this is giving because you can get a sample of this the sample that i got i got from fragrancenet.com and they keep samples i think in stock but they never sell this fragrance anymore like i never see it in stock anymore so maybe when it comes in it, it goes right out y'all this is good in my opinion, you're going to have to like it deep. You're going to have to like it sickly sweet. And you need to like grape. A lot of people don't like grape fragrances. They associate it with like medicine and all that. I don't know about y'all, but growing up, I didn't mind grape. It's cherry that I didn't care for, but maybe that's just me, baby. But yeah, y'all, this is a beautiful, some way creamy, juicy, dark grape fragrance. And I love it. This is like a gourmand, I guess. I like it. Everybody's not going to... I don't mind that everybody doesn't. It smells good to me. I love it. And definitely be pulling for this, obviously, in the fall and winter time. But don't be surprised if I pull this out one time in the summer because you never know. I might be, I'll be in the AC. I don't be outside, y'all. So I could put this on whenever. I wear my fragrances whenever I want to because I don't be outside like that. <laughs> Once a girl by night, I absolutely love it. If you can get your hands on it, this is a gem. And I may or may not have a backup on the way because... It's that good, and I don't want y'all to sell it out. <laughs> Next up, we have this Versace Crystal Noir. So this fragrance is not new. I actually have had it um, in a travel size that I kept for a long time just to keep me in the mind of what the fragrance smells like. And I decided to just add it back to my collection. I was like, well, let's go ahead and get it. I always said I would. I just was dragging my feet on it. It's a very aromatic, spicy kind of fragrance. Um... Let me see. This is strong and it lasts a long time as well. This is not a new fragrance. Something about it, even though it gives this dark vibe in this in this packaging, I'm learning that doesn't always equate to a dark or deep scent. This is there's something sensual about this fragrance, but there's also a fresh aspect to it as well. Something about this gives fresh and airy, although it gives deep sensual vibes i don't know i can't put my finger on it it is definitely a compliment getter i believe the men love this the women love this it's an oldie but goodie you can find it under 50 dollars. i mean what more do you need to know if you like it and you smelt it get it if you haven't tried it maybe give it a try first and then get it so i have the edt they say that there is a difference between the edt and the edp i don't know i don't know y'all if it is okay but honestly don't think you go wrong with either one Versace Crystal No Word. Okay, so next up, I have this sample, which I may or may not have already purchased the fragrance. So, this is Lolita Lampica's Lolita Land. And I have heard about this fragrance right along with the Amo Ferragamo. This fragrance is, first of all, it's a gourmand. It's definitely giving a super sweet, orangey, vanilla, deep, drinky type of fragrance it's different it's very sweet um it has so many mixed reviews i had to sample it first because i just didn't know which way it would go it has a licorice note in here so let me give you some of what i remember i know that it has like orange like an orange note in here i think it has like a note of some type of drink which gives it like this bubbly fizziness it has licorice in here that's the part that really scared me but some people likened it to 
that type of fragrance like an orange creamsicle but they said it was very very sweet and that you need to test it on your skin so i went with the sample first just to be on the safe side even though i was this close y'all to blind buying it but I, i'm just not successful at that so i've decided to let that thing go so y'all i've tried it for several days and i believe it's a win for me i think i like it but i am glad i tested it because i think this can go either way for different people but this is called lolita land you don't hear much about it anymore because it's not a new fragrance and youtube doesn't really hype those old fragrances up but i like it that's all I can say. It's sweet. It definitely gives a drink vibe more so than Amo Ferragamo. Um, the licorice comes out more as it dries down, but it's not like a black licorice, but it is, I would say, an acquired taste. I would say you need to get your nose on it and it's definitely sweet. One of the things that piqued my interest is that this was made by a perfumer, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon, master perfumer, right? The one who made Baccarat Rouge. Yes, you heard me right, girl. He made this $30 fragrance along with another perfumer. I don't know their name, but I'm just saying. Uh, so yeah, I was like, oh, this might this might be worth the try. So yeah, y'all, I may or may not have this on the way. I'm not gonna speak on it yet, but we, we shall see. Time will tell. Next up, you guys, I picked up this Valentino Bose Viva. This is definitely not a blind buy. I have had this fragrance before and gotten rid of it. Kind of just feeling like it was a little boring, but I'm going to be honest. Nothing has changed about this fragrance, and I still like it. I liked it then. I didn't love it, but honestly, the time is now for this fragrance for me. Um, it's perfect. This is one of the perfect vanillas. Let me know if y'all want a vanilla video for the summertime for spring and summer vanillas i will pump that out for you if you would like just let me know down in the comments but this is a beautiful citrusy vanilla fragrance it's very soft i think it is signature fragrance worthy i think it's perfect for this season anybody who likes a soft intimate not like super far projecting but people will smell it on you i'm sure this garners compliments it's just an easy grab some people call it basic as i just stated and it could be basic there's nothing wrong with basic sometimes sometimes you want to just be nice and pretty and smelling good you don't always want to stand out amongst the crowd i know i don't i like to smell good and i do like compliments but i don't always want to be the center of attention and so this isn't going to give you that but it's definitely giving you smell good sis so this is valentino bose viva i enjoy it i really really like it and uh this is a repurchase so welcome back boo we glad to have you. And then last but certainly not least, I have two new additions from Kayali. So first up, we got Yum Pistachio over here. Um, This is Yum Pistachio Gelato. I decided to just spin the block on this one. Y'all know I never got to post that on my channel when I got it because I didn't have a channel yet, or at least I wasn't posting on here. But um, I purchased this when it came out and I was underwhelmed and I didn't like it. It gave too much of that cleaner vibe and I didn't like it. I never even really waited, I think, on that beautiful dry down that comes later. Um, I felt like it was okay, but it definitely wasn't a love. It definitely was like a like and uh. It was like a okay, uh, kind of no, you know, so I returned it. Um, <laughs> but now, because I have these dupes by Latafa and... Actually, I have another dupe as well. I'll bring that to you guys shortly. But um, because I have those, I was like, let me get this so I can at least tell my subscribers if I feel like they're really spot on, which I already know that they're spot on, but I still wanted to just have it in my collection just because what actually happened is I went to the store for another fragrance to smell it and I sprayed this on just for the hell of it. And I actually was like, wow, that smells really good. Way better than I recall a year ago. And or, you know, whenever this came out. And it made me want to you know, revisit it. So I did decide to get it. And I do like it. But I can confirm that my dupes are just fine. So I probably won't ever pick up this fragrance. But I have it in this form just for reference. So, yeah, y'all. This is Kayali's Young Pistachio 33. It's good. It's good. I like it. Still not a love. But I like it. If I loved it, I'd pick it up. You guys, those are all the new fragrances that I have added to my collection, at least the ones that I'm going to show you at this moment. Stay tuned because my birthday is this month and um, I will be having a birthday haul. So I'll be showing you guys all the fragrances that I got specifically for my birthday as a gift to me. I will be turning 
y'all can decide what that is <laughs> That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have brought into my collection. Y'all let me know down below if you guys have any of these fragrances or if you have planned to pick up any of these. Definitely let me know down below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.